Welcome! Today we're going to be talking about Terramind's employees page. To start, we're going to add new employees to Terramind. To do so, we click the new employee button here. We are going to input their name and the email that the agent is going to be tied to, as well as any departmental information and the pay rate if you are going to use Terramind for payroll purposes. Next, we can select their access level with administrator being the highest and most powerful level of access. Here, we can also select their task. We can enable or disable two-factor authentication. Here, we can select the monitoring options for this individual and assign them to their monitoring profile. We can also assign them to their productivity profile here. You will not be able to edit the productivity profile from this tab, but you can edit it under configure and productivity profiles. After we configure the employee information, we have two options. We can either add the user and send invitation or simply add user. If you are using the stealth agent, be sure to just click add user as by sending them an invitation, they will receive an email from Terramind asking them to download the agent to their computer. You can use the send invitation function if you are using the revealed agent. We also have the option to import a list of your employees information. You can click the import button here. We have the option to download a sample CSV if you would like to see how the list of employees should be formatted when it's time to upload here. You can also look at the bottom to see the valid CSV fields to see the format in which the Excel file should be uploaded. Up here on the top left, you will be able to see the number of licenses you have in use currently and the number that your subscription allows. Please note, if your licenses in use exceed the amount included in your subscription, there could potentially be issues with connectivity and monitoring. Next, we are going to be talking about the options related to the agent. Next to each employee, there is a check mark. If you check this, the select action dropdown menu will appear at the top. If you select lock, this will lock a user's computer. This is not a lock screen command in which the employee can unlock their screen using their login info. If you click this button, you will need an admin to unlock the user's computer in order for them to get back in. Here is the unlock button to do so. You can also delete or restore the employee's profile and enable or disable monitoring. You also have the option to bulk edit if you would like to edit the profile information of multiple selected users at once. Next, let's talk about these other drop down options. Click the drop down next to the green new employees button to see different viewing options for your list of employees. The default will be the employees that have not been deleted. By selecting all, you can see every employee that has ever been added to the system. You can use the other filters to see who has dashboard access, users that have been deleted, and users that have been locked out. Next, let's take a look at the access level dropdown. You can use this feature to quickly filter to see who else in your company has access to certain privileges within Terramind. To the right of that, we have the departments dropdown. You can use this to quickly filter for employees based on their department. You can set up departments under the configure tab on the left. Once you input the users into a department, these departmental groups can be used throughout Terramind. To the right of that dropdown, we have the search bar. You can use this to quickly search for any employee by their name or email. To the right of the search bar, we have two different options for reporting. The button on the left will download a copy of your screen from the plain grid below in a PDF format. The button to the right will download a copy in a CSV Excel format. Clicking either button will result in a green pop-up at the top of your screen. If you click this, you can download a copy of your report to your computer. To the right of the reporting options, we have the gear icon. The gear icon allows you to customize your view of the employees page and set up automatic reporting exports. Click the different checkboxes next to the information you would like to see on the plain grid of the employees page. If your page shows more information than you need, you can simplify your view. Under the daily export tab, select the enable auto export button. This will allow you to determine how often you would like to receive the automatic report. Select how often you would like to receive the report, either daily, weekly, or monthly, the day in which you would like to receive the report, as well as the time that you want the report to be sent to you. You can also select if you would like to receive the report in a PDF or CSV format, and you can select the emails that you would like to receive a copy of the report. To the right of the gear icon, we have the refresh button. You can click this button after any changes have been made to refresh the page. Finally, we have the Add Filter Attributes button. You can click this button if you use Active Directory through your on-prem deployment. 
If you have this feature set up, you can add additional attributes and filter those details on this page. Let's talk about the different column options for the employees page. Remember, all of these columns are completely customizable through using the gear icon. First, we have the employee's name as you registered them in the system, as well as the email that is associated with the agent that was deployed. If you have department set up, you will be able to see the department that they are a part of here, as well as the first time that they were online using the agent and the first computer that was used. Once the agent is deployed, we will be able to see their latest login time and the device that they logged in from here. Next to that, we will be able to see the status of their computer. If they have been locked out by an admin, you will be able to see that here. Otherwise, their status will show as active or deleted. We will be able to see whether or not the employee is monitored under this column here, and we will be able to see if two-factor authentication has been set up under this final column. You can double-click any of these columns to quickly search for an employee that you might be looking for alphabetically.